In 2000, the Museum of Natural History opened up the Rose Center for Earth and Space, a huge overhaul and expansion of the original Hayden Planetarium, which opened in 1935 and was demolished in 1997 to make way for this $210 million building behind me. Designed by James Stewart Polchak, the building contains models of the now eight planets recognized by the International Astronomers Union, its original mission to Pluto back in 2000 sparked about as much uproar as Pluto's eventual demotion surrounding a large sphere which now houses the new Hayden Planetarium and a smaller theater which tells the story of the Big Bang. Outside this cosmic cathedral, as Polchek called his work, is Theodore Roosevelt Park, named after the former president I've spoken for earlier in this web video series. Over 60 years after the museum opened in 1877, this parcel of land, long owned by the city, became a public park a memorial to Roosevelt. Named Manhattan Square until 1958, the Roosevelt Park was renovated in conjunction with the Rose Center's opening in 2000 with the new dog run. In 2002, in a fitting tribute to American scientists, this obelisk, or apparently an obelisk, there's no top pinnacle, but it's a large monument to all the Nobel laureates in American history, including way up there, Theodore Roosevelt himself. I'll see you tomorrow.